Hello everyone and welcome back to the Epic Flight Academy. My name is Mike Thompson and this is the Private Pilot Ground School course. Now don't forget there are three keys to success in this course. Number one, you must be studying Epic's online course and number two, viewing these videos as parallel to the content in that course and number three, and just as important, review all of this content with your flight instructor. Now, what about winds and temperatures aloft? Now, I don't know about you, but I was wondering if Santa Claus, when he's traveling around the globe once a year, is interested in headwinds and tailwinds and how many layers he might have to wear of his red suit because of the temperatures he might experience up there. I don't know if Santa Claus uses winds and temperature loft forecast, but I sure know that pilots do and I want to review those with you. When we take a look at winds and temperatures aloft, I want you to notice a couple of things in our example. First of all, the stations are listed vertically in the left-hand column, and the altitudes are listed horizontally across the top. The next thing I want you to notice is that temperatures are always negative above 24,000 feet. Now, with that information in hand, let's dive into this chart. Let's take a look, for example, at the top of the left-hand column. This station is PHX. And I'm going to go to the column for 9,000 feet. And you can see that here. And it says 0518-10. The way that we read that is the first two numbers are the nearest direction. Now you might wonder, is that direction to true north or magnetic north? Good question. It's true north. Winds aloft are always oriented to true north. The next two numbers, and you see in, our, in my example here, 1-8. That's the speed, 18 knots. And then that third set of numbers is the temperature at that altitude and if you think that dash means minus, you got it exactly right. That's minus 10 degrees, and the temperature is always in Celsius. So as you look across that column for PHX, let's move up to 30,000 feet. And notice there it says 044544. Hmm, let's figure that one out. Zero four would be what? Zero four zero degrees, magnetic or true? True. 45 would be, that's right, a wind speed of 45 knots. And 44 would be the temperature, but is that positive or negative? Remember, we're in the 30,000 foot column. It's above 24,000 feet. That's negative 44. So a couple other things I want to point out to you on this chart. Let's go down the left-hand column and let's take a look at ALS. That's Alamosa, Colorado. If I look at Alamosa, holy cow, I see a series of blanks. There's nothing at 3,000, nothing at 6, nothing at 9. What happened there? Did they make a mistake? Couldn't they get the data? Well, here's what happened. Alamosa, Colorado is at 7,539 feet. So there will be no winds reported for 3,000 or 6,000. And it's not very far from 9,000. <clears> so there's no winds reported for 9,000. The first winds we see reported are at 12,000 feet. Another example. Go down the left-hand column and you see Denver, D-E-N. Notice there's nothing listed for 3 or 6, and at 9,000, Denver says 3010 minus 10. 
three zero, that means the winds are from three zero zero true at 10 knots, temperature of minus 10. Nothing listed for 3,000 or 6,000 because Denver's altitude is 5,433 feet. That's why you see those blanks. The next thing I want you to notice is if there is a 9900, well, what would that be? A direction of 990 degrees? That doesn't make sense. 9900 means that the winds are light and variable. The winds are so light they can't get a real accurate direction or speed. So, light and variable. And then the last thing I want you to notice, and you can see in our example down here in the bottom left, our example says 760344. Well, how do I read that? When you see numbers larger than 36, that's 360 degrees, the way that we read it is we're going to subtract 50 from the direction and add 100 to the speed. So here's your memory aid. Minus 50 plus 100. So when I look at the 760 and I minus 50, hmm, what do I get? Well, I get 260. So the wind direction is 260. The speed says 03. Well now, plus 100. So that's right. The wind speed is 103 knots. And 44, that's the temperature. Remember, if it's above 24,000, that 44 is negative. So let's wrap up winds and temperature aloft with a quick review question. If I'm looking at the winds and temperature aloft chart and I see a blank spot, what does that mean? If you answered that it means that station is at an elevation above three or 6,000 feet so those winds can't be reported, you got it. Well, folks, that's winds and temperatures aloft. We'll see you next time.